initiative of the TAC, the idea of creating a model of what, and it's a life-size model of what, well, a person would have to look like, how they would have to evolve to survive car crashes. Chief Executive Joe Calafiore, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Where on earth did this come from? Uh, Neil, we've got some very um, passionate and clever people at the TAC. And what we've been really thinking about over the last couple of years is how do we engage with the community in a different innovative and creative way because that's what people expect of the TAC that we push the boundaries mm. um, and be a little bit provocative so we've collaborated with some terribly clever people in um, a trauma surgeon in Christian Kenfield a crash investigation expert in Dr David Logan and a wonderful Melbourne artist in Patricia Piccinini to create Graham as you articulated at the start of your show and we're really looking forward to the debate and the dialogue that we're going to spark with the community of what would we have to look like to withstand a crash? Well, it's a bit out there. Are you nervous about the reaction? I get nervous about every campaign um, that we do, Neil. Um, but I'm also quietly confident because in Victoria, we've got a really proud tradition of trying different things and different approaches. So um, we've been really looking forward to unveiling Graham today. And I understand he's on your website now. now yeah. And really looking forward to the conversation um, and the feedback that comes. What? Okay, explain to him. Big head. Yes, um, large scale. So, and this is the value of having a trauma surgeon involved. So, what are some of the things that happen in an accident? So, um, he's got a large skull, so protection of the brain. Um, the rib cage, so you think what if a car tries to do with airbags? So, protection, because really in an accident, um, your vital organs, so extra protection for the heart. Um, you've actually, we've got rid of the neck. You know, one of the worst things that happens in, happens in serious accidents um, is your spinal cord injury. So um, one of the things about this type of project is when you have a look at Graham, um, we will never look like Graham. Humans are not designed to look like that. So it leads us to thinking, well, given that we're not going to look like Graham, what are some of the things that are in our control? What are some of the behaviours and actions that we can do as humans that can drive road trauma around in Victoria. So, Graham, if you were like Graham, you could survive a crash. You would. That's right. That's what you would have to look like. That's what the human being would have to be to be able to survive a low impact crash. Okay. Caller off air says, How is it going to get people, he thinks, an awful looking man, going to make people think about road trauma? Where do you take it? Is it kids you're targeting? Uh, all of the above. So, one of the great things about this project, so we're launching it later this morning at the State Library. And one of the things that I love about this project is that we then take Graham on the road across all corners of the state um, into the schools, into the classrooms. I actually gave my um, my sister, who's a primary school uh, teacher, a sneak peek last night, and she just pounced on it and said she can already see the opportunities um, to get it into the classroom, to have kids debating about our vulnerability. So we're actually also preparing some material um, that will be used in the curriculum to help kids understand um, our vulnerability and really to create what we're calling um, an army of road safety um, ambassadors for the future. Have you seen anything like this anywhere around the world? Has it, has it come from somewhere? No, we believe it's actually a world first. And as I said, if I, I speak to our, our collaborative partners in terms of the trauma surgeon, Patricia Piccinini, who is just a wonderful artist based out of Melbourne. So terribly creative and passionate people. I think this will challenge the community to think differently about our vulnerability. It's deliberately bold. Uh, it is a bit out there, as you said, but we're um, very much looking forward to having people um, meet Graham today. I think it's meetgraham.com.au on your website yep. and really looking forward to the community debate.